CA. He so, actually, so his history for the tag that he has actually is because he actually works as a lifeguard mm -hmm. at the YMCA. So. Yeah, that's what I figured. I, I think he's mentioned that before, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, so if, if he, I mean, he looks like he would be a YMCA lifeguard, too. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's got the build for it. <laughs> yeah, and he, exactly. And he always tells me the thing about, he, he told me one time, he was like, I always have the YMCA lifeguard tag. So, shout out to him, man. Yeah. Great guy all around, dude. <laughs> And Anita, of course, the latest of the up-and-comers here in SoCal. He was previously part of the SoCal Unranked meme, and yeah. he became ranked. Yeah, um, he got kicked out. I don't know. If you <laughs> got, I don't know if you get kicked out of the chat or anything like that once you get ranked. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like you've been exiled. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, the only person doing the exiling is Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> he probably told Nito like, "Yo, man, I'm exiling all of you. Lumbre, Nito, like T3 Dome." Yeah. Al Out. Almost Luna. Almost Luna, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he probably got exiled, too. He's actually moving up to NorCal from what I heard. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see what they... Oh, yeah, I think this is uh, YMCA's tag, probably. Yeah. yeah. Buffs? <laughs> we'll see, man. I mean, he was already a great contender with DK. If he gets yeah, a yeah, couple of buffs true. here and there, like we'll see how that goes. I'm going to give you guys the strategy against DK. I'm not memeing. I'm not doing anything. I'm giving you guys the honest truth. Yeah. Never take DK to PS2. Mm -hmm. You will suffer the ding-dong. That is the only stage where Ding Dong exists horribly. It does exist on like other stages like, you know, um, Smashville. Mm -hmm. But PS2 is where DK lives and thrives off that Ding Dong confirm that he used to have. Yeah. Now, this, this is random, but what I know about YMCA, but I only know this because I studied like two like the two DK mains in SoCal for like a good two weeks while I was studying DK. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, there's another one, IDK from uh, San Diego, by his, oh, book, by, by his book, by the way. But the two of them are very different in how they play. IDK is a very much a by the book type of player. Yeah, what I that mean, is true. What I mean by that is that down tilt is minus on hit, mm -hmm. uh, starting from zero to like 23. But if you get a trip, then you can confirm into like a grab or a dash attack. Mm -hmm. But you have to hit confirm and you have to react to it. IDK is the person that will react to it. YMCA just guesses. Yeah. So that's that's how the two of them are very different. <laughs> like I even just watching YMC, you can tell like he'll get a down tilt and he'll just dash tag into like their shield, and then you're like, damn, he really guessed on that one. In the words of my good friend Jump Steady, one mashes and the other has neutral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jump Steady, man. He's such a great guy. Right, it looks like he's going with the Ken. Doesn't want to pull out the Terry quite yet. Yeah, I respect it. He wants. Uh, he's been working on Terry. He's talked about the characters' advantages and disadvantages. But when you're in a serious tournament here, like Genesis Black. Of the prestige, such as Genesis here, you make sure you're bringing out the best of the best here to come up to the ring. Okay, there we go. Okay, he got lucky there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, maybe he's been practicing. There we go. Aerial Spinning Kong to get out of it. I like that. He actually fast fell to get around the focus attack. So he's going to get just plenty of rage. Uh, but let's see how it goes. He's got to land somehow. Oh, nice. Try to go for perfect grab there. He didn't think Nito was going to go for it. He's going to be able to cross him up at all. I, I like the fact that Nito's looking to keep in range. He's respecting himself around YMC. He doesn't want to go away. Parrying against your opponent definitely shows signs that you have caught up to a lot of their game plan, and this might force them to go for different options. All right, there we go. There's the back air. Going to be able to close it out. Didn't even need sure you can there. Yeah. I do see a little bit of a change in Nito's movement today. Um, like I said, he's been practicing Terry, so he probably be using yo, the Yo, yo, movement. yo, yo! <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I was watching that and I'm like, no way, there's no way it will happen. But then I'm like, wait a minute, he's DK, and they're like, oh, oh no, 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 calm, calm, calm down, man. Okay, okay, okay. This character got buffs. You give the character respect. That was so gross. I can't believe that he actually got all the way there. Oh my, but here we go. Maybe potentially. Oh, until? the shield, the shield. Watch yourself, man. Simon Cowell might be asking you for dancing with the stars if it breaks. Nice. Good use of focus attack. He's able to cancel out the back air. Will that kill? Yeah, yeah it'll well. kill. Okay. He did get buffed in terms of damage and frames. Yeah, okay, this game was already over by the time that, that zero to death happened, so there's no point in commenting this match, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so what are you doing at this tournament, Sergeant? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sure you can, yep, there we go. Ryu, you know. What, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at YMCA here, man. He reels the, off the back of his chair. He knew he suffered. <laughs> He's like, DK never got buffed, did you, did I you, was lying Did you to. see that? He, you know, was like, did you try even try getting out of that? And he's like, <laughs> he's like flailing his control. Like, yeah, man, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> did, oh, you, man. did you SDI properly? That was the question Nino asked. Yeah, did you SDI, though? Anyways, I mean, Nito, oh, not, not Nito. Uh, YMCA also has a Wario that he's working on as well. That is true. It's a very strong Wario, too. I'll give it that. So maybe he'll switch. You'll never know. I feel like Wario might be better in this scenario because did you? I can't get over that. He got blown up, dude. That was... 
He got blown up. I might have to ask why MCA if his controller was plugged in or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, man. Just in time for Congo Saga next month, the DK Congo route. Get together this monkey route. DK. I can't wait to hear this all weekend long. DK, some of the Donkey Kong music actually is really, really enjoyable. Ooh, YMCA switching off of the white DK, going Super Saiyan here, <laughs> golden DK. Yeah. Let's see how this goes down. He switched from Ultra Instinct into Super Saiyan 1. Yeah. I'm going to have to power down a little bit. Sometimes you just got to go classic. Oh, that was probably a misinput, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even though that uh, Ken, I don't know if that was a misinput. You know, like, sometimes... Even if you always face your opponent, it just happens. Like, you just get a quarter circle by accident and yeah. you go the other way. Shield damage. There's going to be a punish from Nito that may not spell death. Okay. That oh, will. All right. That, that will be death still. All right. Think about DK is, if we're talking about Street Fighter characters here, DK plays very similar to Zangief, a grappler in his own game. That's what the character is pretty much designed off of, especially with uh, stage speeding Kong, the way it works. is very similar to Reto Nito. The thing about him is he has to, like you said, IDK, he plays a very textbook DK. So he has to make sure he's looking for those safe pokes to get into uh, to get into Nito. <laughs> and unfortunately, I see nothing less than something unsafe, but he tries to go for a little bit of a ding-dong action and misses the mark there. Yeah, just barely off of the percents there. But here we go. Just we get a landing there. Continuing off to the combo Ooh. into the Shoryuken, but he gets out of the last hit. Thank God for that. So he's going to survive just a little bit, but is it too little too late because Nito's already blowing up YMCA again on this next stock? Just needs one good kill confirmed, and then he'll be able to continue on to his last stock there. The use of back here, he puts Nito off the stage. It's going to be ID YMCA's, I'm sorry, I almost call him ID here. Okay, there we go. Sure, you can. That's gonna. I, I sorry, I thought this kill. man lived. I looked. I looked at the map on the screen, and I was like, he might be fine. And I guess I was wrong. No, man. If you're that high and you get hit by Sure, you can. Like, it's not good, man. Okay, let's see here. Another big combo. Doesn't get the mix up afterwards with the dash attack. Okay, nice. Usually a classic. Oh, there's the armor from the spinning Kong. All right, continuing on in the chase. Man, he's just not letting YMCA breathe, really. But there we go. Gets a dash attack, confirms that into a back air. Now he's got himself a little bit of an opportunity. I want to see him go for, like, the like one of the new tech, like the down B into, like, the Oof. the punch or down B into back air. But, yeah, he, yeah he's going to get the, the neutral punch. Still a great move for DK. Keeping himself in the game here. Okay. I like it. Nito looking for a little bit of respect. Trying to get a whiff punish, possibly. Nice. Using the focus attack to get out of disadvantage here and another one. But yeah. Got a lot of damage racked up to him. Oh, no, but this might be it. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Kind of pressed the wrong button at the wrong time. Nito was able to capitalize off of that. That was so good for YMCA. He kind of almost brought it back. He had Nito at the ledge. We know how, how much damage heavies can do in a character like DK with all the grab and options he has at the ledges against his opponent and the damage percentage, the knockback. Could have been a close game there, especially with being just at 50% against DK. Yeah. So, still good though. Good stuff to Nito. Definitely demonstrating his powers with Ken. Honestly, being the best Ken main in SoCal. He does talk to N from Texas. He's oh, actually, N Masters? Yeah. yeah, yeah, N Masters. So, um, they do exchange information and knowledge about that too, so as well. So, it's good stuff yeah. that they keep in conversation and make sure they are involved yeah, you in the got, game. You got, you got your Kens on every corner of the plant or of the country, man. You got Nito here. You got. And Masters in Texas. Mm -hmm. You got break. Hazmat in uh, New York. Mm -hmm. Or New England, rather. But anyways, yep. we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back soon with some more matches for you guys, all right? So Don't touch the keyboard. Don't touch the match. We'll be back yeah. with more Genesis Black. All right. See you guys soon.
Top. 